Hey everybody, my name is Corey Ashton and you are joining in to a 30 part series on how to improve your search engine optimization inside of your WordPress website. Yesterday we spoke a little bit more technical about sitemaps. Today we're going to continue that technical conversation talking about robot text files. Let's go take a look. Question number 24, do you have a robots.txt file? What the heck is that even? Well, a robots.txt file actually is a root file, it's a text file living on your root folder inside of your server space that gives Google, and any search engine for that matter, instructions on what files it can view and index and what files to stay out of. So it's a very interesting resource to have and it can be highly effective for improving your SEO if done correctly. I'm going to give you a link over to this article right here, which is probably by far one of the best articles I've ever read on best practices for your robots.txt file. This of course is by Yoast, a free WordPress plugin for SEO. If you're interested in using this plugin, I have an entire playlist dedicated here to this awesome free, because free is always in the budget, SEO plugin for you. This is a great resource though. It basically tells you again what a robots.txt file is and it even gives you best practice example of how yours should read. So when you go to your website, um, you type in your www.whateveryourdomainnameis.com, then you type in forward slash robots, plural, dot txt and press enter. When you do that, you'll be able to see if your website has a robots text file. If it doesn't, let me help you right now with this video, learn how to go make one again, totally for free. So let's jump into your WordPress dashboard. Again, I hope you've already installed Yoast plugin because it actually gives you the tool inside of here to build a robot text file. If you go into SEO and tools, right? We've already installed Yoast. I'm only using the free version of Yoast. You go to the tools section. Inside the tools section, you will find right here the file editor. Click on that and you'll see this button right here that says you don't have a text file, create one here. Gives you this box right here. Now you want to use exactly their example. So we're gonna jump over here, back to this article, and they actually give you a link, check this out you guys. We even use this approach in our own robot text file. If I click on that link, this is exactly what they give you and you can legally copy this and put that inside of your file. We're gonna jump back over here and put it right there. There you go and scroll down and click save changes to robots.txt. Brilliant, that's done. That's how simple this is. And basically what you've done is you've told the search engines you are allowed to go anywhere you want to on my server and index away. Now, when you go back to your website, up to the top, have your .com forward slash, type in robots.txt, and that should be the simple text file that you see. All right, be sure to click like and subscribe and hang out with me. We're almost through this 30-part series. If you'd like to work ahead, I'll put the links below over to the 45-minute course, totally for free, and you can download the worksheet as well. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.